it is education. It is not clear what President Uhuru Kenyatta thinks about the airport saga, but he has been busy today trying to fulfill one of his key pledges on the campaign trail. We're now joined by reporter Asha Mulu, who's coming to us live from our IM studio. Asha, bring us to speed with uh, the project. Well, Betty, we do understand, we remember the campaign period and President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto had one of these key pledges that was to bring free laptops to class one students across the country. And he actually promised that a hundred days after his inauguration, every standard one pupil would have a laptop on their desk. It seems now the president is really taking this project seriously. He's handling it himself. He's not really putting it to the Ministry of Education for the nitty gritty details. Today he did meet with the president of Microsoft Global and they sealed a deal that will see teachers countrywide um, tr be trained on how to use computers. But now we've learned that teachers also have a demand of their own, that they're saying a very valid demand. They're saying that they also need laptops to be able to teach their pupils. And we went to Nyeri County just to see what teachers there have to say about this new move by the government to train teachers countrywide on how to use computers. Here's the report. It's a typical Tuesday afternoon at the DEB Muslim Primary School in Nyeri County. Teresa Gitonga has her class four pupils engrossed in her science lesson. She's hoping that those she will be teaching in another four years will be computer literate, having benefited from the government laptop project. At least that's the hope harbored by most schools countrywide. President Uhuru Kenyatta seems to know this well. But his 100-day deadline of implementing the free laptops program is lapsing fast, and he is on overdrive, sealing deals on ICT. Earlier in the day, he met Jean-Philippe Courtois, Microsoft Global's president. The computer software giant is now offering the government technical help in training teachers countrywide. Music to the ears of the president who hopes to roll out the ambitious project by January next year. For teachers like Teresa, the training will be helpful, but her colleagues say they will also need laptops of their own to be able to teach the pupils. Kwa mambo hii ya computer sisi kama walimu tuko tayari tumegojea hapa shuleni watoto ndio waelefuke kabisa kwa kutumia computer. It's very very positive and we have uh, appreciated that. And it is a very good idea so that at least even uh, the teachers those who have not gone through uh, that kind of uh, uh, training they can have a chance also to familiarize yourself, uh, familiarize themselves. Yeah, we are very much ready, very ready. Even if it is tomorrow, they should tell us to go to class. We are ready. Personally, I'm very much ready for that. Uh, I believe the, the work of the children will become easier, even for the teachers will become easier, because now it's going to be uh, digital, instead of using much of the books. Training teachers, however, will be the first hurdle for the government. The Ministry of Education is unclear on whether the program will be implemented in phases or in one go. But here and elsewhere, the pupils are waiting to click away. Ashamwilu, KTN, Nairobi.